welcome back to mobile application programming class in this or uh, in week 7 we going to learn about Android animations so uh, what is Android animations uh, the Android animations can it's a kind of animations that can enhance the visual cues that notify user about what's going on in your application so in this case it's only usable for uh, indicate the UI change not for interactivity or or in, in like a game applications so in android animations uh, is very useful to inform the user about uh, the new content loads or the new actions available and if you use animation in your applications uh, your app will looks polished and it looks uh, it gives you a higher quality look and feel and there are three types of Android animations. First is the view animation, is is the basic animation or the classic one. And then secondly is property animations and more flexible animation is using drawable animations. Okay, so we are going to try three different animations. But before I continue, please download the animation asset in the ULS. So you can click this download asset and then you can extract it okay extract all right then we have uh, these animations these uh, weasel animations and you can copy ctrl c the whole image it's like a it's like a um, series of images repeated from frame 1 to frame 10 we are going to use uh, this image on the third tutorial the drawable animation and I, I hope you can copy it first before we continue so um, we start with a new project let as you can see here we have a week 7 app and then you just need to copy paste in the drawable twice yeah like usual we have 10 frames here 10 visual frames do it again for the regular drawable normal drawable so we have same image so back again to our first tutorial the view animations it's considered like a classic type animation that available since the beginning of Android operating system and it fast and easy to use but uh, the constant the cons here is that the state animation change but the property does not change means that if I have a image button that animate to from position 0 to 100 pixel to the right even that looks nice it look it it move but actually the property doesn't change so the image button still in the zero positions and uh, the view animation usually used for splash screens or introduction screen when we open the application at first time usually it shows logo rotating logo animating logo and so on okay so there, uh, the, the, the few animations can produce like a twin animations. Twin means that animation that uh, change from one state to another states, from one types to another types. So uh, it can handle four types, alpha, scale, rotate, and translates. Alpha is like um, a how solid your object looks on screen. So zero alpha means that the object will look transparent. It shows nothing but if you set high alpha means that um, the, so the object will look solid so you can animate the change between alpha 0 to alpha solid yeah so it looks like the, the object looks like a fade in or fade out okay you, we are going to create that kind of animations okay fade in and fade out animations okay so it's very easy and very simple so let's um, let's try to to uh, create a, this kind of animations basically uh, you can animate any few object because uh, this is a few animations and every few object you can animate it you can apply animation on it so in this case i want to hide this button by clicking on it so we set listener for this button and then we call the animate uh, property of the button and I'm sorry the in animate a function of the button and then uh, we, as you can see here this is uh, called chaining method yeah chaining method so 
after we call animate we can chain it with another method alpha 0f and then set duration is another method that set duration to, to 2 seconds yeah 200 milliseconds so what is going on here um, the button will start to fade out to alpha 0 alpha is a property that control transparency of the objects and the value is range from 0 to 1f its float number okay of course you can use 0 0.5 to to set the alpha property okay and um yeah just like i say it's zero is invisible and it lasts two seconds that's what happened so um you can add additional listener if the if the animation finish or the, uh, the animation callback usually we use that like that so it means that after the animation finish and this listener will be in, uh, executed and this animation and function will um, will show so it it's going to show those okay so let's uh, try that on screen open your main activity layout so we are going to add one little button right I'm going to delete the little word here delete. right okay I'm going to put it on left top right Okay, and make sure you have 0, 0, and 0, I think. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to change that button to button height. And the name, the text caption will be height me. Right? So we have uh, this button, height me, with the ID of button height. And it's centered on screens. And we go to the main activity. We're going to animate that button by. Uh, pressing the own button so we call the button height dot set on click listener just the random lambda version and then we're going to add the animation we're going to start the animation by calling the animate thing and which method that you want to uh, uh, change uh, actually there, there are four yeah there are four type uh, the, the four type of property that you can animate alpha scale rotations and uh, what is called as I little forget as you can see here uh, translate translate mean that you can move the object position from one position to another positions scale mean that you change the scaling of the objects from the normal scale probably you can scale up or scale down and rotate mean that you can rotate the object using a uh, Cartesian degree okay we can um, do that okay but for now we just need to we just want to create a, a fade in and fade out animations so we call, call the alpha and then you set the durations like this 200, 200 milliseconds or oh, you can use the alternative version of Kotlin durations so wait wait mm. okay cannot yeah just set duration and then um we set the listener we set the listener if the animations reach final reach uh its end it's it ends okay so we have we create the anonymous object object dot any meter animation li, animator listener updater like this okay so as you can see here this one is anonymous class means that uh, because it's, it's interface you have to or abstract class you have to implement the member so you click this one just uh, I'm sorry you have to add this constructor first yeah like that and uh, okay and oh no uh, no not implement the member but actually you call this function on animation and you call the this function to override override the parents the parents animation ends so we simply call on animations and like this just press enter and we are going to change something in here so for example i'm going to simply toasting something toast dot make text you cannot use this on the context objects because you right now under the, this class so um 
you just use the applications context and then we uh, put out uh, display out the text like um, it's invisible right and then how long the toast will be it should be slang short and of course you have to show it show right so this is how the our button a listener looks like and we're going to try it like right now press play button and uh, see the result okay this is the result so uh, if I press the hide me here it will gradually invisible and the toast is shows yeah so uh, it's how you works with the few animation very basic very simple let's uh, move on on the next tutorial